What is the most expensive shape of pearl? And why is it that there are all these strange shapes of squares, crosses, skulls, ovals? What is with that? What's inside of them? Also, what is the most prized color? I am going to show you all of that, including smashing a whole bunch of pearls to see what is exactly inside, including Tahitian pearls. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoy this. About dyed pearls are generally less expensive than natural pearls. And they usually, pearls are not as high grade in order to do the dye process. But here I've got some really nice ones. You can see the luster is excellent. And they have surface dyes which are all the colors except peacock. Peacock is a chemical reaction. I'm going to show you the difference. But in natural peacock, there is the brown, green, purple, and that is a chemical reaction. And it's supposed to go to the core. So for the sake of science, we're going to smash some pearls. I've always wanted to know what is inside. Okay, we're going to, this is dyed gray and we're gonna smash it. It's a surface dye. Okay. The inside is not perfectly white, but you can see that there have been many layers and this, I'm gonna take a closer look for you, take a close up photo. But it seems like here is another layer of uh, knacker. Maybe they had planted this size in. So this is the pearl and we smashed it. That's a pretty thick layer of knacker. And this is off white. So now we're going to do one that is peacock. I'm going to smash that to see what's inside. Oops. Aha. See, that went all the way through to the inside. It's a chemical reaction. For peacock, it is not a surface dye. So this is what it looks like. The inside and the outside of a dyed freshwater pearl that is peacock, chemically dyed. I've always been terribly curious as to these Keshi pearls. They look like little raisins, whether or not there's much inside and whether or not they've cultured them this way. That means pre-cut, all gnarly shaped and then put implanted. Okay, so we're going to do this. Okay. Well, that shattered. <laughs> and there are layers of knacker, but I do not see a seed. Your two broke pearls. It pains me to do this, but I'm also curious as to what is inside. So I'm going to use a short one here and let's hammer this. Okay. That 
is very interesting. Look at this. Right here, you can see a very distinctive bead. And let me see what's inside. It's like a pearl, but it is likely to shell so that less likely for it to get rejected. You see? And this is not a very, very thick knacker over it. These are some of my favorite pearls, the Edisons. So we're going to sacrifice some because I want to see what's inside. So let's do this. get a little the clock okay so this is naturally kind of brown peachy coppery color rosy color we are going to do this oh okay good I cracked it open don't want to turn it all into powder but as you can see there is the shell that is on the inside and the macker on the outside and it's quite thick as you can see here let's see what's this is the inside Let's see if these large rice pearls have much of a seed in them. I know that these are cultured freshwater natural white rice pearls. Okay, let's do one. a bit squishy okay actually this is very interesting this has many many layers and it does not have a distinctive seed it's very flaky inside Whereas the other ones had solid seed for culturing, this probably had a lot less. I'm going to take a closer look. Okay, I can see that actually there is no solid shell seed. And these are layer, layers of knacker that flakes off. So this was actually quite expensive to produce. It's grown for a long time. These are natural pink rice pearls. So we're gonna see if the inside layers are also pink. Oops. Wow, this is, thing is hard. <laughs> okay, let me just do it again. Get down. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now that is interesting. So it is quite peachy on the inside. And there's something here, but I don't know what it is. I'm going to try to pry it open. Maybe there was just an inclusion. 
have a closer look. This piece, I wonder what that is. Okay. Okay, it's flaky all the way through. So it isn't a seed that was strangely shaped and um, must have been a pearl that perhaps he didn't like or that is just an older pearl that did not get re-cultured. So now we know. Here, there are lots and lots of layers, many, many layers all the way to the core. I want to see what happens with these because it's a bright green color. Let's see. Let's choose this one. Okay. Oops. Okay. That's interesting. It's almost gray. Now, the green inside right here, that could very well be that when they drilled it and then dyed, the chemical went inside to the middle and it was a little bit more porous. This naturally was kind of dishwater color. And I guess that's what the, why they use this it was kind of gray to do the dyeing process. And you'll see that the inside has that solid green color. And this probably a concentration of the dye. And here is one that hasn't been smashed. This is the grand finale that we've all been waiting for, I've been waiting for, is to smash a Tahitian pearl. Haven't you always wanted to know what's inside and how it compares to freshwater pearls? Well, I have some here. This one I paid 160 US wholesale because of the massive flaw. Some of these are about, you can get inexpensive ones like this for a few dollars to a few hundred dollars a strand. Had this been perfect, without the flaw, it would be a few thousand, maybe 20,000 because it's big. So, but this, uh, we are going to do it today. So, let's put this here and we will see how it compares. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. So they had implanted the shell just like the others and inside is that. They started off with this, probably the knacker. This would have been maybe six months to a year. But now we know that the Tahitian pearls that they, it's almost all, I, I, they're all cultured. So they start off with shell. There you have it.